Law school is a professional school, like medical school, like pharmacy school. And with these professional schools, uh, students have to typically pass a licensing exam in order to get their license to practice in that area. So in law school, students have to take the bar exam, which allows them to then be an attorney, practice as an attorney in that state. It's 12 subjects that can be tested. It's two days of, of exam taking or 12 hours of an exam. And it's three different test formats. So it's definitely much more complicated than what they've done before. So the initial reference that bar takers get is a calendar. And the calendar doesn't have very much on it. It just says on Monday you'll be doing torts. And they, it look, they look at it and they think they have the weekends off. Once they go into the programs, they realize they don't. They have things to do every day. Um, and so they get a little bit overwhelmed with the sheer amount of stuff that they need to include. But they're going to have to be doing prep work at least eight hours a day. Um, but if they get distracted or if they have, um, if they need to take breaks, it can go up to 12 hours a day of material. You start out from this position of saying, oh my gosh, I have to take this test and it's going to take me two months plus to study for it. And you have debt, you have jobs, some people have job opportunities that are contingent upon passing. So there can be a lot of external stressors that pile on top of the stress that's already built into the exam. And the students are already going to be feeling very guilty that they cannot spend more time with family and friends and loved ones. But secondly, um, when they can't go to family events during this period of time. I mean, this is summer, there's picnics, there's parties, families get together. Um, when they can't go, they already feel guilty. But what makes them feel even more guilty is when family and friends make the student feel guilty for not going. So I think one of the things family members can do is one, try to lay off the initial reaction or habit of trying to convince someone to go by making them feel guilty. But secondly, also protect the student from other family members who don't know what's going on, who are going to try to lay that guilt on the student also. So I think one of the best things that close family members can do is to protect the student from those guilt messages. So one thing I think friends and family um, should know about the process is that the bar exam is always going to be on their mind, even if they're not actively studying. And it's one of those things where you need to move your mind constantly from concept to concept to concept and kind of intertwine so many concepts that your brain can always be going. So um, I think it's really important to know just how all-consuming the process is. One of the main things is to realize that some people aren't going to get the stress that you're under and it can affect how the bar taker views the relationship in the future. So the key thing is to kind of take into account that the bar taker will be available in August. One of the best things a friend, relative, supporter, loved one can do is be there to take things off of that person's plate. So, I mean, it could be something as simple as preparing meals for them, um, helping out with chores, um, you know, walking the dog, allowing them to come home and just relax and listen to nothingness, if, if, if that's what works for that individual. Just being there and taking things off of their plate so they don't have additional obligations. Even saying something like, oh, don't worry about the bar, you're gonna pass, you're really smart actually is interpreted by the students differently during the bar exam than during a law school exam. And we're finding from a lot of our students that that actually puts more pressure on them because it's expected that they're gonna pass this exam. So there are things that you can do to try to lower your stress. Um, and that can include anything that, um, that you've done previously. For some people, it might be working out. For some people, it might be going to a movie, spending time with friends, going for a walk in nature, uh, meditating, uh, calling, a, uh, calling a friend. I think it's important to know about the bar that 
Passage isn't everything, even though it feels like it's everything. But one thing I think it's really important for students to know is that passage is not your identity. Passage is not your potential. There's so many famous people that took the bar that are successful that didn't necessarily pass the first time. Hillary Clinton, for example, and there's so many more. Um, I think your whole life can feel like it hinges on this process, but it's really not true. And so if students could really detach their own personal worth, their value and identity from passage, I think that it would give a huge relief to a lot of the stress and pressure that students feel.